Good morning. Will God save some? We're at Jeremiah 16, verses 14 to 18 today. Here's the reading. Therefore, behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, that it shall no more be said, The Lord lives who brought up the children of Israel from the land of Egypt. But the Lord lives who brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all the lands where he had driven them. For I will bring them back into their land, which I gave to their fathers. Behold, I will send for many fishermen, says the Lord, and they shall fish them, and afterward I will send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. For my eyes are on all their ways, they are not hidden from my face, nor is their iniquity hidden from my eyes. And first I will repay double for their iniquity and their sin, because they have defiled my land. They have filled my inheritance with the carcasses of their detestable and abominable idols. Now, for several weeks, the prophetic utterances we've been reading from Jeremiah have been pretty hard material, even to the edge of hopelessness. God's speaking through Jeremiah has been strident and full-bodied, to say the least. But let's not be surprised. This is a fantastic emergency, and the people are not responding well. And yet there's something here very joyful. But I think you saw it maybe with me at verse 15. Do you see that a deliverance, the Bible, certainly one of the most extraordinary deliverances in the Bible is the deliverance from Egypt, the Exodus. That is epic. Uh, but God is promising that he's going to deliver his people with a deliverance that is so much more comprehensive than that, that we won't even be thinking back or hardly looking back to the Exodus. Instead, there will be deliverance from the north. This is a deliverance from Babylon. And this is still future. And this is still future. Yes, the invading armies are going to hunt and fish, and they're going to capture all the Hebrews who are out trying to hide in the wilderness. They're going to be caught up and captured by the invading forces. They will not, too many of these idolaters and the ringleaders in the apostasy, they're not, going to, they're not going to just slip through the cracks. Here it comes for them. But here, remember, although the nation goes into captivity, at the right time, at the right time, God will deliver them. They will come back. He's going to bring them back home from, from the north. But now some people might be concerned because it says in verse 18 that God's going to give them a double punishment for their crime. And at first, that sounds like it's not even fair. But remember, there's a couple of aspects to this. There are actually several times in the Bible where there will be a penalty for a sin, a punishment for that, which is double or even four times as much as the, as the crime. And so, remember, there's a couple of things here. There's an actual punishment issue, and there's also kind of a preventative issue. If you know it's going to, you're going to have to deliver four times the amount when you uh, confess your sin, you're going to think twice before you really uh, make conduct that sin to begin with. So there's more in here than just a, st a straight up thing. There's the whole issue of preventing. So that's something else to keep in mind. In the end, it's going to be more than fair what God does. Sometimes discipline has to be front and center. And God's going to give a deliverance here that's greater than his deliverance from Egypt. God has great blessings in store for his people who are faithful. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, here we see that the captivity is going to be uh, remarkable. It's just coming right up. Oh Lord, we want to be right. We want our hearts to be right. We don't want to have to learn the hard way. This is a nation which we're going to find is going to learn the hard way. Help us not to do that. Help us to be more receptive, more responsive, more open to you, Lord, to the spirit of Jesus. Please work in our hearts. Help us to be signposts here on planet Earth, of your invading force. Help us to be markers toward the kingdom. And so, Lord, help us to be business cards for Jesus. And so we would ask for this, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, God will save some if some can be found who are willing to be saved. God be with you today.